So today we're going to go ahead and take a look at the new microphones from Logitech being the Yeti Orb and then the Yeti GX. The Orb kind of like the new updated Snowball microphone. And as far as my mic test, I don't do any sound tweaking in there. I don't fire up any software. We plug and play and listen to the core. Now, yeah, you got blue software within these, but again, you can tweak that to your setting. Talking about setting, in my room right here, you all know I don't have any sound dampening, no sound morphing or any crazy studio setup, right? I have a fan on, I have the door open because I got a new puppy, so I gotta be able to hear it. So again, it's just a really natural environment here. No crazy YouTube studio setup. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna listen to our microphones, get a quick look over them, and then I'll also compare them up to a couple microphones as well and see how they stack up. So here are the two microphones. As you see, the Orb looks just like the Snowball. You just kind of got this cloth over. It just looks a little more sleek and again, upgraded, right? I really like it. Now it is incredibly lightweight, like very lightweight. The stand is plastic. You got a couple rubber feet on the bottom here to prevent slipping and probably some of that vibration, which we'll test as well. Now you got an RGB indicator up top here and then the Logitech logo. Now you can take this off and as you see, you have a uh, screw hole down there and then right here. So if you want to mount it on the arm, you can. And really cool to have those multiple different angles because again, you want to talk at this microphone at that angle right there. Now coming over to the GX being the more high end one, you can see it comes with this uh, windscreen right here, pop it off and you got this silver filter. It looks stinking awesome. It really does. It comes with a stand which can also be removed and then you can attach it down on the bottom. You see it attaches by or connects by USB-C. You have the Logitech logo which lights up and then right down here on the bottom it lights up as well. Now, the back side of the microphone, you have the mute button, which I absolutely love. It's something I need in any of my standalone microphones. And then over here, you have your gain, which will show you whenever we connect them up. You can press it and adjust the gain. Bam, lock it down in there. Uh, just kind of looking over them, yeah, this is definitely the higher end when it feels a lot more heavy duty. Uh, but coming to this, the one thing, just looking over it, that I wish it had again is simply a mute button. I, I don't know, just right there is something. It's something that I really, really need, especially in game, is that mute button right there. But of course, you can just go ahead and key bind that to your keyboard, and you'll be perfectly fine. It's just something I really enjoy. So let's go on and kick it off with a sound test of the Yeti Orb. And I just got it sitting on my table here, just kind of talking how I talk. Again, I got my fan on, the AC just clicked on. And like I stated, my room's not set up with any sound damage or anything so it's, it's a real natural kind of common environment which i think a lot of us will have rather than having some crazy microphone studio testing that you know and i'm talking at my regular volume um i've got my volume set halfway which will be the exact same on both of them and again no software tweaking now if i come up closer to the microphone and still talk like this i can see it peaking up big time and really getting loud so if i talk kind of lower and i'm like forcing myself to talk lower i still see it peaking up louder right there but if i stand sit back like kind of this is where I would be if I was to be gaming this is what it would sound like now let's go on to say if I put the microphone off to the side kind of like how I like to leave my microphone so it's not right in front of my screen this is what it'll sound like now I'm talking forward the microphone is over there let's go on to say if I got a keyboard here now where this is the what is this the Razer Black Widow V4 75 percent this is a phenomenal keyboard go watch the review if you haven't but Really nice sound dampening stuff, but let's see what it uh, picks up as far as on the microphone. Just seeing what that picked up right there. Now, if you want to see what it picks up a lot further away, now it's about right at arm's length, and you can see what the microphone sounds like right there. And again, the AC is running. Um, my fan is running. Now, one thing I want to check here, um, which is something that always makes me curious, is if you got a loud environment. I've never done this test in my microphones before, but again, I think it's something that's really important. Again, if you got you know dogs or a loud environment, and you're just in your game room gaming. What kind of sound or how much of that sound is this microphone going to pick up? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this room. I'm going to let this microphone stay recording. And I'm just going to do some talking. Uh, I'll go out to the door um, and then out there and just do some talking and see how much the microphone's picking up. So you know, like when you're gaming, how much of that is it actually picking up? So anyways, let me go on and leave the room here. Microphone still rolling. And then we'll just uh, see what it sounds like. So here we go. Now I'm behind the camera, actually, and you can uh, see what it sounds like as I'm behind the camera. Microphone's still facing seating position. I am now out of the room. I am all the way in the living room now. Come here, Shinobi. Come here, Shinobi. Come here, Shinobi. Test the microphone. We gotta test this microphone, Shinobi. Yeah, we're testing the microphone here. We're testing the Logitech Orb. Now 
remember coming back into the room to see what it sounds like. And look at what I found. Look at, look at what I found. I found old Snuggy Snugs. Look at, do you want to say hi, Snugs, for the camera? Huh? You don't want to say hi to the camera? Snugs really doesn't like heights. She's still pretty young, but do you want to say hi? Look at, she snorts a lot. Does the microphone pick up the snortsies? Huh? You don't want to talk into the microphone? Anyways, that is the Yeti Orb. Even whenever we leave the room, what it will sound like. Let's go on and plug in the uh, GX and see how that sounds compared up to this. And now you're listening to the Yeti GX. And with this being a dynamic microphone, you got to make sure you're talking into it right here. Rather than say if you're sitting here talking like this, it's going to be going over it. Now you can see it's picking up a lot lighter right there. So you always want to make sure it's like this, even if you got a boom arm. And this kind of goes like right with my video microphones, these uh, shotgun microphones. You always want to make sure like that angle is coming at you right there. So you want the same thing with this. You notice a lot of streamers that use their Shure microphones. Same concept right here. Now, again, you see the RGB up here and you've been seeing the RGB on the bottom. I'm going to spin this around this way and again you can take this off and put it on an arm this uh, little stand comes off down there and then you got your attachment point right there anyways what i want to show you is on the back side right here so you see this little wheel you can adjust it for your gain so i'm going to press it and then i'm going to crank it up and wow you can see our gain just seriously increased i hope i'm not hollering at i, I gotta turn it down because it's really peaking up crazy high so let me press it again and pull it down just a pinch let me get it to a nice spot uh right there looks like it might be good so i'm just gonna go with that again we're testing this together here right now with the level that i just set it at seems like it's picking up at the same level as uh the uh i want to call it the snowball here the orb it's the same as the orb now again the thing i love about this is right below that wheel you have that mute button which you can simply and then if we press it again you can see there and i didn't see any noise whenever i pressed that mute button so i really really like that now uh, it comes with this pop filter windscreen whatever i'm going to take it off and just see what it sounds like like that but again remember with this microphone and i'm even talking underneath it a little bit so Let's say if I put it more like this and I'm talking like directly into it now, does it sound even better? Because before I was kind of under it. Now, I just want to do the quick behind the camera and out the door type sound because I think this is going to be a lot more directionally sound and not pick as much up of that excess noise like the orb did. So let me go on and try that again. So anyways, microphone is still active. I'm to the side of the camera now. Now I'm behind the camera. You can just see what it sounds like if someone's behind the camera. Now I am right outside my door. I'm outside of the room now. Now I'm just walking over to my window. I'm seeing what it sounds like. And if I get some stuff, where's Snuggy? Where's my Snuggy? Where's my Snuggies? You don't want to be on camera, Snuggs? Huh? You want to be on camera with us, Snuggs? Okay, come on. Let's get on camera. Okay. Snug says she wants to be on camera this time. She came running to me. Snugs came running to me. All right. I might have to pay her for this one. Snugs came running to me when I asked if she wanted to be on camera. You want to test this microphone for everybody? No? Oh, she's being a little shy right now. She doesn't want to talk on the microphone. But anyways, that was the microphone test of the GX whenever we left the room and everything. And then again, just kind of how we're talking normally here. Oh, I forgot something. I want to test this with the keyboard as well and see what it's like. So how would this usually be set? Most people will probably have this on an arm, but I'm just gonna tilt it to the side here and get my keyboard out. So that's with, what is, what is Snugs? Hey, hey, come on. What are you doing? Snug's down there chewing on my table here, you know? So anyways, I think most people will have this up here on an arm. So let me tilt it a little bit. You'll have it kind of over here. And then if you're typing on your keyboard, it'll be like that. Again, when I mainly used it in my game room, I did use it on the arm as well, but I always leave it off to the side. So you can see what it sounds like if the mic's over there and I'm talking forward rather than if the mic's directly in front of me, well, then it's in front of my screen. So the thing I don't like about mics like this, holy smokes, it's picking up big time. Uh, what I don't like about mics like this is again, they sound the best when they're right in front of you. 
So again, that's in front of your screen. Rather, if you're maybe in a meeting or a podcast, that's where mics like this are really beneficial in my opinion. Now let's go ahead and get a quick listen to the Yeti X. Now this is their older microphone. Heck, it's using like micro USB, but I think the biggest competitor is gonna be up to the GX here, especially as far as price point. This guy coming in at 150. This one you can get for roughly around 130 or 140. Sometimes if you're lucky, you can find it on sale for 100 bucks. But again, it is a little dated, again, using micro USB. But there's things I really like about this microphone is number one, you have your gain dial right there. You got the microphone mute, but it also lets you know where you're peaking as far as the green, are you going into the yellow right there? I, I really like that. That's a nice notification, especially when you're, you know, in game or, you know, just talking on video or something like that. You can know, okay, yo, I gotta, let me turn that gain down. So I'm gonna turn it down actually a notch right here because it was peaking up a little bit and then you can see okay now i'm not peeking too much that's a feature i really really like maybe it might be something that's not there now but something they can implement in with the rgb down there like green yellow then red yo that would be awesome on this one right here but again all in all this is a great microphone still how does it sound up to the gx we're testing these live together and we'll see that and now we're listening to the Elgato Wave and holy smokes, it is picking up big time. I almost want to talk lower so I'm not making you guys, your, your ears hurt there. I left the volume the exact same across all of them and this one is clear as day picking up the most. So I'm going to take it right here and I'm going to turn it down a bit. There we go. That looks a little bit more manageable. Again, I was leaving the volume the exact same on all of these, but no joke, this one picked up like crazy. Now, one thing that's really cool, I maybe totally forgot about this. I do all of my mic tests on my Mac, by the way, plugged and play. Uh, this Elgato is cool because on the front, you got your mute button, you got your headphone mix, how much you want from the headphone to yada, yada, yada. And then, of course, your gain. Um, but whenever you're adjusting the gain or the volume of the microphone, it actually adjusts live right on the Mac. So I, I couldn't like set this there and then press it right there. So I'd have to kind of turn it down, which is, I, I, it's really cool. Cause again, over on the other ones, I'm like, all right, well, let me turn this here. Let me turn that there, you know? So cool little touch, especially if you're on Mac, I think the, the, the wave is definitely going to take a win right there but it was peaking up big time. I'm going to turn it up. I was only on two lights right there. Now I'm on three lights and uh, we're picking up a little bit more. This has been my go-to microphone. I'm talking a little bit to the side right here, but if I'm talking straight on, this is what it sounds like. Um, this microphone stand is just a random one I use. Um, I love them. They're like 20 bucks on Amazon. Um, links down in the description. You kind of put it behind your monitor and then peek it out right here. Really nice. Prevents any. Anyways, not talking about the microphone stand. But I want to see like if you got it on an arm again. If I'm talking forward and my mic's over here, my monitor's right there so the microphone's not in front of me. And then if I go ahead and take this keyboard and do a little bit of typing. Did I do the out of the room? talk with the um, Yeti X. I don't know if I did. Ah, oh, man. Son of a gun. Anyways, let's go on and do it with this. And I, and I just want to see the difference of this compared to the other ones. So anyways, I'm stepping up. I'm out to the left of the camera here. Or right. I don't know what side that is. Now I'm behind the camera and I can't find slides again. Now I'm outside of my room. No, look at this. I can find all of them, but I can't find the other. Uh, give that example of what it sounds like how much of that uh, conversation and that chatter are you going to hear of people outside if you got some friends over or kids or, or whatever and, and you hear some of that talk and how much is the microphone going to pick up that's kind of what that whole test was right there see how much of that background noise you're going to receive so i just listened to every microphone test right there and Honestly, I think they all sound pretty darn good. I was really shocked with how good the orb sound. Again, you're talking a $60 mic here. Now, you yeah, add the bill that feels the lightest, the chintziest, that's the least amount of features. Like, get rid of the RGB and give me a mute button. That would have been, again, phenomenal. Again, the mute button's a big thing for me right there. Um, this guy sounded really good, but it honestly picked up a lot of noise whenever I left the room. Shocked me. I didn't expect that since it being one of the ones that you got to keep a pointer right at you. Um, and then up to the other two, the Wave and then the um, Yeti X or whatever it's called. 
they still sound phenomenal. They sound amazing. And again, as I stated before, my room is not set up for some crazy sound dampening studio. I wasn't using any of the blue software, which you can use on these. And then again, on the Elgato one, you can use the software there as well. I wasn't using any of that. These were just straight up plugged and played. And that is cool because if you want it to sound a little bit different, a little bit deeper, a little bit lighter, whatever, you can get in there and, and tweak that. One thing I forgot to mention, um, these two microphones come with some sort of subscription for Steam Labs. What is it? Free trial included. I don't know how long. I don't honestly don't even know what Steam Labs is. I know nothing about streaming. I don't do any streaming. But anyways, it does have that. But as far as the microphone, I think they're fantastic. But as good as these four are that we tested, I say uh, if you need the mute button, heck, just get whichever one's the cheapest. If you don't, heck, you're going to do plenty fine with this $60 orb. I really think so. So there we go. The new microphones from Logitech. I hope this presentation helped you out a little bit. Just kind of going at it raw. Just as like, again, you're using a microphone rather than talking crazy numbers and oh, yeah, yada, yada. If I, you know, I got this... Uh, if I got this sound dampening right here or something, right? We don't need none of that. So again, I hope this raw experience and test together really helped you out. And if it did, please hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I hope I catch you in the next one. Bye now.